And we are just about set for game action here in this second game of the Hockey East quarterfinals. Featuring the Wildcats in the University of Vermont Catamounts. Jones sends it back up to the right point for Kip. He'll take a screenshot in that gets through traffic and Medora has to flash out the right pad and make a save. Out into center ice. Campanelli hit hard into the boards. Penalty call coming up here. It's going to go against the Catamounts. For Kessel over for Beck. One timer. Off the heel of a stick and went wide. Moses tries to center, but that's blocked away. Catamounts are back at full strength. And New Hampshire 0 for 1 in the game on the power play. Loomis into the zone right side. Flips it down towards the front. Kip gets a shot away here. And center ice. Here's Medvek. He turns it over to Henry. And Henry and in. Henry and pulling it back. He didn't get a shot away because of sliding loss and got a piece of it. Now it is white. Pulled free by Campanelli, but Lenz will scoop it up in the left corner and take a shot as he comes off the left corner with Four it. Seconds to go in the period. Sislow into the zone, trying to turn Miller. Sislow backhands it towards the net, and there's going to be a penalty call here. And Sislow may go too now because he gave a shove there at the end on Lenz. First yeah. period has come to an end. And I imagine we'll start the second period in a four-on-four -four after all that. Icing gets waved off as the puck ends up back around behind the net. Now it's fed to center ice for Marshall. Marshall in the red line. Marshall into the offensive zone. Feeds it over to McKenzie. McKenzie backhands it across in front for a shot and a score. And the Catamounts take a 1-0 lead with 16-11 to go here. Still with control in the left corner. Now back behind the net. Downing wraparound effort. Saved Deidre Alamo on that wraparound bid. Now second chance. Gets it up ice for Spielman. Who gets a shot away that is knocked aside by Medora. Now in the right corner, here's Henry uh, Spielman in front for Henry, and his shot saved by Medor. A huge one there. Sent up ice for Lenz, who's in across the line and into the zone. Lenz with it here. His back pass in a backhanded bid there by White that is stopped by D. Geralmo with a pad. Franzen at the point with a shot that goes wide. Back to the point for Kip. He'll get a shot away that's blocked in front. Now a backhand bid saved Medor, and he's holding on for a faceoff with 8.24 to go here. In the second period, and Gumas gets control for New Hampshire. Gumas in across the line, takes a shot, goes wide of the far post. Gumas with it again. Gumas pass here for Moses. His shot stopped. Medor, who's holding on. Sislo trying to get away from Franzen. Still holding it on the left wing boards. Into the left circle, here's DeSimone. A backhand shot and a save made by Rob Medor. And Ellie tied up on the near side by Leonard. Puck comes further up the boards here from McCary. Leonard now tying him up. Puck free in front of the New Hampshire net. And Kip's got it there. Kip ahead to block. Block right up the middle of the ice into the zone. Block gets a shot away and he scores! It is Austin Block snapping him off in the high slot. It ties the game one to one with 2.46 to go in the second. Rissonok knocks the puck to the corner and the second period comes to an end. Catamounts grabs a one nothing lead at the 3.49 mark of the second period, but Wildcats score twice in a 42 second span at 17-14 Austin Block and at 17-56 Stevie Moses oh, and gives it back up top. Now it is Brunito at the point playing it over in the right side. In front Stahlberg shot and a save made. Di Geralmo rebound is intercepted by Spielman who sends it up ice for Thompson. Thompson trying to turn Brunito. Thompson tumbles into the net. Nice. Kip into the zone. Kip dropping a pass back for Block. Block takes a shot. It's Block. Gets back yet again. Does Block. So there is stopped by Medor, and then a wraparound effort stopped by Medor as well. De Simone sticking, Brickley's back into the zone. A long shot, a save, rebound back up in the high slot. Brunito shot, another stop by De Geralmo. In gloving a puck across the line. Salengo to pick it up, Salengo in the slot, comes loose here, backhanded effort, Medor able to make a stop, net has come off its moorings. Campanelli spins away from a check there, plays it to Thompson who's got it back behind the net. Thompson tries to center, it's blocked, comes loose here for Cicero and he scores! The centering pass initially blocked, no, no goal, hand pass being whistled down here against the Wildcats. Well, while they review the goal, we are going to, the potential goal, we are going to step aside for and across the line for Vermont. His back pass intercepted. And here is Sislo up the near wing side for the Wildcats. Sislo into the zone. Back for Thompson. His shot score! Paul Thompson roofs it up under the crossbar. And the Cats do take a 3-1 lead with 10.54 to go in the third. And back into the zone they go. Stahlberg shot, save made. Corralled by DiGeralamo and held on to for a faceoff. Played down to the goal line right. Trying to walk it across in front. It comes free for Nilsson Roos and he scores. Either that or stuffed in on the far wing side. Not sure if it ever got through to Nilsson Roos. There was a man standing at either point, at either post. Come on, give them credit. They're trying to battle back and stay in this. It's 3 2. Tie it up. Salengo lobs it to the line, but not out. Puck still sitting loose inside the zone here. Brickley's got it for the Catamounts. Brickley sends it over into the right circle. Lenz takes a shot there. Save is made. Rebound score. Brunito. 
jumps into the attack, ties the game three to three with 3.34 to go in the third. 3.34 to go in the third period. Slowly able to knock it down into the corner again for DeSimone. DeSimone goes back behind the net with it. DeSimone holding it here. DeSimone to Hardaway, his shot, save made, rebound, score! Sisso makes it a 4-3 lead for the Wildcats with three minutes to play. Four left here in the third period. Here's Sisso, left boards. Another penalty call coming up against the Catamounts. T.J. works his way to the bench for an extra attacker. Buck along the back wall here is DeSimone. He Takes a bump into the boards, and we're going to have a cross-checking call whistle down here against Kevin Miller. And the Wildcats will have a two-man advantage here, barring any more penalties for the remainder of the game. Gets knocked away. Mador's leaving for the extra attacker. Pass out into center ice here. Sislo has it knocked away, but DeSimone will chase down a loose puck. DeSimone. DeSimone in front. Sislo tipped it wide of the empty net. And down a puck at his blue line. Ahead to DeSimone. DeSimone will shoot this one at the empty net, and he put it wide. It's White on a faceoff. DeSimone wins it over to the wall. Kostolanski tries to tie it up. White's got it. White plays it for Stahlberg. Knocked away from him. Kostolanski on a loose puck here. Kostolanski will just play it up the boards, down to the Vermont line. Puck spun back to the New Hampshire zone on his final game here at the Whittemore Center, scoring the game-winning goal with three minutes to play to propel the Wildcats to TD Garden. Wildcats also get goals in this game for Paul Thompson, Stevie Moses, and Austin Block, who scored a big first goal of the game for the Wildcats at a time New Hampshire was down one to nothing.